Hi folks, well I've been uh, doing a bit of troubleshooting on the bike trying to establish why it won't start um, if you've seen my video from yesterday night, yesterday night I was thinking it was probably a fuel system problem and I, I still think that could be part of it um, but what I've discovered is I've, uh, I've got an ignition problem this morning what I've done is um, I've taken out one of the spark plugs and what I did was um, held the spark plug against the this chassis rail which is one of the bits of the chassis that I've not painted held it against there also tried holding it against that um, that bolt hole there because sometimes you can get a different kind of quality earth from different places and what I did was I turned the engine over on the starter button um, to, to see if I got a spark at the spark plug and um, I can't, I couldn't see any spark at all at the spark plug. Um, at the moment I've got the kind of, the, the curtains and the blinds open um, so that you can see the bike in the video. Um, but when I was testing it I had the curtains closed um, and it was quite dark in here. It wasn't totally dark because apart from anything else when you turn the key on the headlights and the clocks come on. But um, it was reasonably it was reasonably dark and even looking really really closely like right close up and holding a starter button on so it's going you know turning over the engine was turning over quite fast as normal i couldn't see any sign of a spark at the spark plug whatsoever now i watched a video yesterday night on youtube uh, somebody else who was talking about testing spark plugs and ignitions in this way and he put a video um he put up a video of him doing the same test but on a lawnmower with a, like a pull cord and he was holding the the spark plug against the side of the engine on the lawnmower and pulling the pull cord and he held his video camera up <coughs> excuse me held his video camera up close to the um to the spark plug like that and you could you could clearly see a spark even in the video now i i couldn't see a spark at all even in a darkened room, actually in person, not on video. So I'm pretty sure that there's no spark there. So basically what that tells me is is that um, uh, the ignition doesn't work. Um, now, the problem with that is, is there's quite a number of different things that, that, uh, that could be causing the problem. Obviously, the spark plug could be defective, the HT lead, could possibly be defective, the coils could be defective, the CDI could be defective, or the pulse generator, the little thing on the end of the crank that reads the reads the position of the crank, that could be defective. So that's like quite a few different things. So to be honest, I'm not too sure. Um I'm not too sure where to start. I mean one one thing is that the spark plugs are brand new. And I've fitted a lot of spark plugs over the years and I've never had a problem with spark plugs. So I kind of feel it's probably not the spark plugs. Um, the coils and the HT leads, I've got them together. And they were they were second hand. So there's a possibility that they could be faulty. I can't remember whether the, the, the seller had tested them or not. Um, I can maybe have a look back in the eBay records and see if I can find the page um for those and you know see if he's see if it was tested before they were sold again also the cdi itself um that was second hand as well so maybe there's a possibility that the cdi is not working the pulse generator on the end of the crankshaft that came with the engine and the engine is second hand so there's a good chance that could be faulty or it could it could just be my wiring it could be maybe that i've wired it up wrong or maybe I've got a bad connection somewhere, for example, um, where the pulse generator is wired in. It would only take one wire that's not wired in properly. If one, Say, for example, if one uh, connection for the pulse generator to the CDI is not connected properly, then the CDI is not going to get the signal from the pulse generator and it's not going to you know, do its thing and make a spark at the plugs. So, <clears throat> excuse me... Um, so what I need to do now is I need to kind of see if I can get to the bottom of this problem. I think probably what I'll do first is I'll have a look at my, my wiring. 
and just kind of like I mean I've taped I've taped all around the top end of this um, of the CDI you know where I've where I've wired it in so what I think I'll probably have to do is I'll remove the CDI I'll remove this cable tie take the CDI right out take the take the tape cut the tape off with a Stanley knife and have a look at the connections and see if the connections still seem to be sound and if there's one or more connections that have come up um, come come apart then I kind of know that that's what the problem is um, so yeah so that's pretty much it really at this stage um, if anyone's got any suggestions as to what the problem might be that would be awesome um, you know if anyone kind of knows CBRs and knows that whatever the CDI or the coils or whatever are prone to problems then that that would maybe give me a clue where to start looking what I could my other option is um, just kind of give up trying to fix it myself and give it to a bike dealer and just say here sort my mess for me kind of thing but obviously that's going to cost a chunk of money you know so um, but then again I've spent a lot of money on it already so it's just a question of making a decision to what extent I want to persevere with it myself or whether I just want to get a damn thing running and just make it somebody else's problem, you know. So, anyway, that's great. Um, thanks for watching.